WRC Rally 8 comes out tomorrow, but because I'm a filthy YouTuber, I got early press access. So in this video, I'm going to jump into the Welsh Rally GB stage on WRC Rally 8 and tell you what I think about the game. Is it going to appeal to those of you looking for a simulator? Is it more on the arcade side? Oh, oh, who knows? Well, you will once you watch this video. Let's go. Right, we've loaded up the Wales Rally GB stage. We've done it in the quick rally mode. It's got a full career in this game, but you can also just pick stuff if you want to just jump in and drive. And uh, we're pretty much ready to go. Now, we've got the tyre selected here. You'll notice this game has a full selection of tyres. You have to make sure in the career mode that you pick the right tyres, because if you've got dry tyres and it's raining or snowy, you're going to be in trouble. But for this uh, for this stage, soft gravel is all we need. It's nice and English out there. A little bit of clouds, but mostly... Uh, actually, it's not nice and English. It's, it's bizarrely sunny, but uh, I, I need the sunshine virtually, so we're going with that. And we're going to go with the car setup here. Um, I've moved the uh, the brake bias a bit further to the rear, so the back of the car comes out in the brakes. And I've also tweaked the differential uh, so that the, uh, the, the torque's mostly on the rear. And also, I like to uh, lock the diff a bit on the rear so that... Uh, so that on the throttle, the back of the car comes out more. That's just how I like to set my cars up in driving simulators and racing games because it makes them more fun to drive. Might not be the fastest thing to do, but it's what I like to do. And crucially, um, WRC 8 gives you all the setup options that you'd need to change the car to handle how you want it to handle or what's in a way that's faster or in a way that's slower because you don't know what you're doing and you're just doing random things and you're making the game worse for yourself, which is what I typically do. Um... And the setup changes do genuinely have an effect on the end resultant handling in the game. So, which is normally a really good sign. There's quite a few games where you can change the setup and it's completely marginal, but it does have quite a big impact here. Um, so first things first, the big question that people will, will be asking of the sim racing scene, is this uh, on the simulator side or is it on the arcade side? And I'm, I'm happy to confirm that this is definitely way more on the simulator side than it is the arcade side. Uh, fundamentally, you have to approach the cars in this as you would approach real-world cars um, in, in, in this sort of situation. I don't know why my windscreen wipers are on, but they are. They're off now. <laughs> so you also find in this that... You know, you're, you're flicking the car into the corners to get the angles right. You're, you're using the brake to move the car around. You're driving on the accelerator. You're driving on the brake and you're also using the steering. Uh, it definitely feels like there's a really good amount of depth to the, to the physics and handling of the vehicles. And as a result, that makes it really, really enjoyable to drive. Now, the physics, I don't think, are perfect by any means. Um... I would certainly say there's aspects to this that are, um, are, are some aspects that are better than Dirt Rally, but also some aspects that are worse than Dirt Rally, and you know better and worse than stuff like Richard Burns Rally, the, the classic, the classic rally title. Uh, the biggest things in this that from the handling that seem off to me, um, I think the suspension simulation is probably a, a little bit simplistic in this. Um, as a result, when you go over some trackside objects or hit certain things, as you do, uh, the car seems to lift off the ground overly easily. Uh, and also when you go through jumps, the car seems to f float in the air a little bit too easily. Now, I'm not talking, I'm not talking uh, moon gravity, but it, at times it does feel like the gravity is a little bit off in this. But at a basic level, <laughs> I've said the term at a basic level, um, there's enough depth there, as I say, that you can approach it, get into it, learn the nuances of the game, and then just start enjoying it. And where where this uh, where WRC Rally 8 really shines uh, is the, uh, the the tracks. Uh, I mean, as you can probably see here from this well stage, just I'm just take, picking up a Christmas tree for early Christmas. Um, the the stages in this is oh there we go <laughs> i'll just take that home with me that could be a steak for the christmas tree um the actual stage graphics in this are absolutely superb like the attention to detail in the objects and the the, uh, the surrounding objects the amount of surrounding objects but more importantly the actual road surface itself the variation in the road camber the little undulations the actual texture work on the road surface 
uh, the width of the road surface. Uh, the, the biggest comparison, really, would be if you play Dirt Rally, the road kind of feels a bit repetitive, even on the... Even when you're playing like a different stage or a different location, it kind of just feels really samey. It, it doesn't feel totally like a real world location. Whereas in this, there's so much variation on every stage and every different stage in each location. It, it honestly feels like you're in different places and it provides a really, really interesting uh, driving challenge. Um, another aspect of the of the rally stages that really stand out on this is that there's often parts where the road is really, really narrow. <laughs> Not just going through gates, but you'll just go... You'll be driving in France, for example, and you'll just take this little detour where you're not on the actual main road. You're on some little side track, and there's literally just a car width to get your car through, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's really tense because you're trying to drive as fast as possible, but it really magnifies that aspect of trying to decide if you're going to push it because you need to catch time up because you've been slow and maybe risk a crash or maybe you've already you already know that you're sort of ahead or you're in a flow so you just dial it down a bit to make sure that you don't do anything stupid um it's it's the 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 track models in this are incredible uh, that just probably some of the best of any um off-road rally game that that i've played definitely definitely in recent times i mean the only thing comparable to the the quality of the rally stages in this would be um, I'm going to do another world stage. Would be the, um, the 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 sort of mod stages that you find for Richard Burns Rally, where people basically just replicated real world tracks and some of the original Richard Burns Rally tracks. Now, you know some some uh, aspects of the graphical quality uh, in in terms of the overall graphics can look a little bit muted, and it might not be as shiny as some of the other games out there. But from a, on, a, on a functional level of things looking crisp and actually running well, this, the game seems to actually run pretty decently for me. I do have a 2080 Ti, so you'd expect that. But I'm not noticing any hitching or weirdness that you get from a game that's actually buggy at a core level. Um, it, you know, it just it just it's super super immersive visually um, with the gameplay of the tracks and the gameplay of the handling. Um, really really nice so uh, let's just start driving this let's just keep talking look at that look at that look at that river there lake <laughs> it's not a river oh dear so another aspect that i think is really good with this game is the the force feedback oh christ we hit the bump front of the car okay roly poly we hit um we got our nose stuck in the ground there the force feedback in this um, once you set it up a little bit and dial it in, I, I am using a Fanatec direct drive wheel here, so we kind of get the best of the best possible force feedback that a game is going to be able to put out, uh, as you would with any direct drive wheel. Um, but once you tweak the force feedback, you know you can feel so as you turn into a corner, you can sort of feel the weight of the car on the steering, the self aligning comes through the wheel and corrects the car, as you would expect. When you get on the brakes, you can feel a little bit of counter tug, which gives you a good sense of the suspension loading up and the, the sense that the weights move forwards on the car, uh, which is really important for a rally game. Um, I, I think the force feedback in this is actually, for the most part, pretty much this uh, on the same level as the force feedback in Dirt Rally 2.0, though I would say I think the actual force feedback for suspension isn't too good, which I guess would make sense. If the, if the uh, force feedback is de um, derived from the game's physics, if the, if the suspension is not so good in the simulator, then the force feedback for the suspension is not going to be so good. But uh, it's more, again, the, the, the force feedback is more than good enough for, you to, for it to tell you what the car is doing and how, how to uh, respond to that. Uh, which reduces that frustration of the car doing something weird that you wouldn't expect or that you're, that you're not expecting that you can't react to. Uh, very important for a rally game because you could be doing a really good stage and if something weird happens and that's it, it's game over. Um, so, really, really good. Oh, God, this is... Look how tight the track started to get here. You also notice with this... I'm, I know I'm being really positive here, guys. <laughs> I love rally games. As, as long as they pass like a certain threshold, I absolutely love rally games. I wish there was more of them. 
I love Dirt Rally. I love Richard Burns Rally. Um, just driving a car through the countryside, guys, <laughs> at speed with the risk of smashing your face into the dashboard. What, what more? What more could you want? Um, <laughs> so another thing that stands out with this, or oh, that's just nice, is uh, as you would hope would be in all rally games. As we move from the dirt there to the tarmac, you notice the difference in the handling change with the car smoothing a lot out, uh, smoothing out more on the tarmac, and obviously the grip levels changing. But that happening in a really natural way, and uh, again communicated through the force feedback. So obviously you can visually see that you're on tarmac as opposed to dirt, but. Um, you can also feel it as well, so you very intuitively get into a, a sense of what you need to do to, to drive it and not make mistakes. Now, you can probably hear the audio in the game here. If I, if I shut up for a second, you'll be able to hear the audio. There you go. That gives you a bit of an idea of the audio. So... The, I would say the engine sounds in this are nowhere near as good as Dirt Rally 1, Dirt Rally 2. But they've got the engine sounds of this to a level where they're not obnoxious. They they communicate how many RPMs you're at. You know when to shift from the sound. But the engine, the engine sound and the sound in general certainly is not the most immersive. <laughs> Especially if you're going from something like Dirt Rally to this. The, the engine sound, the sound in general... It's just nowhere near the same quality. You do have nice sound for like gravel hitting the underside of the car and some ambient sounds, but the engine note just isn't isn't really satisfying in this. And then also the co-driver definitely sounds very, very, very robotic in this. Whoa! Holding that sideways there. Um, it doesn't have that. The co-driver doesn't sound like he's sat next to you holding on for dear life as you potentially drive into a tree for him. Uh, the co-driver sounds as if he's like a pre-recorded thing telling you what corners are coming up. Uh, now, the positive of the co-driver, it, 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 the uh, the call-outs and stuff do actually seem to be right for the most part. I've played through a little bit of the single-player career. Um, you, it doesn't seem like the co-driver stuff is is wrong in that you'll crash from, from him giving you the wrong instructions, but uh, it's just in terms of the delivery of the co-driver lines, then they're, they're not... Um, they're not as immersive again, as I say, of what you get, um, what you get in some of the other rally games out there. Now let's go to uh, Corsica here. Let's go. Uh, let's just do these. I mean, st these stages, guys. Absolutely, these will like maximise your concentration here. Seven point six kilometres. Do this again. We go. I keep going for these uh, rally, t uh, the two series, because they're a little bit slower and <laughs> easier to drive no way am i talking and driving whilst uh driving the fastest cars in this look at that bridge look at just all the little details so that you notice with the graphics in this the specific trees and fauna that's what a tree is part of the fauna for the different environments but you notice all the different little texture work the the uh where where there's like erosion or where water has like run off stuff and you notice on the road surface where stuff's a little bit damaged where when it's wet there's going to be puddles and the puddles affect the car handling all these little details visually that also just tie into the overall experience um absolutely great i feel i genuinely feel when i play this i feel like i've gone on holiday it feels like a like a very a very fast road trip so let's move the brake bias back again for our little uh thing here I'll just do this quick quick job here. Uh, that, that'll be fine. We're all good there. That's all fine. That's all fine. Right tyres. Yeah, we're good. And uh, let's drive this. But yeah, so I mean, I played uh, WRC Rally 7, which was two years ago now. They delayed this game by a year, and it's obviously paid off. And uh, in WRC Rally 7, it's just nowhere near as good as this. I mean, WRC Rally 7 was fine with a game controller, but I just couldn't get it feeling right at all on a wheel. Whereas this, I say it's not per it's not perfect handling. There's aspects with the handling where you're like, well, hang on, that's a bit, that's a bit funky. <laughs> but it's more than good enough. It's it's more than good enough. It's like it's like Wreckfest. Whoop, there's a boulder there. Wreckfest handling is more than good enough for you to enjoy it as a sort of sim racer as opposed to just a general gamer. 
I think as a general gamer, though, as well, you'll also be able to enjoy this. I've not tested it with a gamepad yet, though, but I would assume with this being a cross-platform game that uh, they will have had a lot of uh, emphasis on making sure it's actually playable with a gamepad. Who knows? I've not tested it, so I don't know. That'll be, that'll be in a future video. Look at this. Look at this countryside. Look at those cars parked at the side of the road waiting for a rally car to drive into them. <laughs> now, unfortunately... Really unfortunately, there's there's two massive unfortunate things with this with this game. And oh Christ, understand that. Well there's okay, the two biggest unfortunate things with this game. There's probably more. The two biggest ones. Um The first is it doesn't have any VR. Bloody hell, no VR in a rally game, in a in a drive in a realistic driving game in 2019, no VR. You're joking me. So that's a shame, especially as uh, I believe this is Unreal Engine. So it's kind of strange to not have VR, given that technically the underlying engine could potentially support it. I mean, it's not quite that simple. There's certain things you have to do as a developer to implement VR, like UI and bug testing. It's, it's not just turn a switch. But still, VR, where are you? <laughs> so there's that. And then, of course, there's the, the whole Epic Store shenanigans, which I, I have to bring it up, and I'm going to keep bringing it up. It's not necessary. So, so the, the issue with the Epic Store thing isn't necessary. This is on PC. If you're on console, you just buy it on console. Um, it's not necessarily the fact that it's a one-year exclusive to the Epic Store that's a problem. It's the fact that it was literally last minute that they decided to make it an epic store exclusive um and personally i'm i'm epic as a company have been a bit bizarre with their approach and philosophy and some of the stuff that um the directors have, have said there's some funky stuff going on there but um it's just it's just really anti-consumer stuff should be you should be able to buy stuff on any platform really or, or any virtual store uh but you know Epic are going to throw money at them to get that. We've got a car damage there. So that's that's how that is. But I, I definitely consider that to be a pretty significant downside. I know some people are like, oh, it doesn't really matter because you buy it and it works. Uh, and it does. But it's they shouldn't have done it as a last-minute thing. If you're going to go and agree to doing some kind of exclusive deal, do it before you announce the game <laughs> proper. Do it before you actually have a store page on the, 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 the other stuff. But uh, yeah, so th those are the two big downsides. On console, th there's a big downside in that, bizarrely, the game only runs at 30 FPS. I've not tested it personally, but that's what it says on the specs. And uh, I have to say, I can barely play games at 60 FPS now, so <laughs> 30 FPS is absurd for what is actually a very nice, tight, deep, um, realistic driving game. like. How are you meant to actually drive properly at 30 FPS, you know? It's bizarre. Just Literally, you should cut down the graphics and get a higher frame rate rather than a nicer graphics and a low frame rate. But on PC, um, on PC we're running at uh, 100 hertz and uh, you can, you know, you can set your resolution. Yeah, on PC, you can run at 1,000 hertz, 4K, whatever you want, so long as you've burnt enough money on your computer system. So, you know... The, I think the Epic Store thing is going to be a big downer for a lot of people. I think it's going to hold a lot of people back. But my my real thing with this game is that, uh, unfortunately, for those of you watching this that are on the fence, if you're a fan of rally titles... Oh, I mean, look at this bit of stage. <laughs> the water over there on the right. It's rather scenic as he drives into a spectator, removing his limbs. Oh, we've got a medic there, so we'll fix that spectator up. It's all good. Um... Yes, if you're if you're a fan of rally games and realistic driving games, unfortunately, uh, you're probably going to want to get this. <laughs> it really is good. It's one to add to the collection. Basically, you like rally games, you've got to get Richard Burns Rally with some mod tracks. You've got to get Dirt Rally 1. You've got to get Dirt Rally 2. And now you've got to get WRC Rally 8. Uh I'm, I'm, I'm basically saying I'm endorsing it. Now, to be clear, I was given a key by Big Ben Interactive. Uh, so make of that as you will. I, I could just be shilling because I got given a key. They didn't pay me any money. They just gave me a key to the game. 
Um, but I, I genuinely do think this is really fun. Oh, actually, before we go, um, this also has a really good single-player career mode to it. It does have that weird planner thing. It does have that weird management stuff that's a little bit ham-fisted. But it's actually got a proper career in there and enough content out of the box to allow you to actually play through a single player. So this, as a game, on top of the basic handling and everything else, uh, as a game to actually play and enjoy by yourself uh, is infinitely better than Dirt Rally as a game and also infinitely better than many other driving simulators as a game. So, uh, yeah, I had to get that in there because it's pretty significant. Uh, we've just got so used to driving simulators and realistic driving games not actually having any gameplay in them, and this indeed does with some with some quite nifty mechanics we'll talk about that in future videos in more detail but yes there we go hopefully <laughs> i try to talk so fast i don't want this video to be 30 minutes long um hopefully that was useful for you guys hopefully that brain information dump was uh, exactly what you were looking for if it was you indeed do know that there's a subscribe button to uh, to get more brain dump informations to, to the point where your nose is leaking grey matter um, there's there's also a like button which I appreciate people clicking because it gives the videos more visibility and of course we live stream so uh, when you subscribe you get notified of the live stream so you can catch us when we go live um, drop any uh, comments any questions in the comments section that you have uh, join us next time we live stream we'll, we'll be playing through the single player um, we've already started the single player we'll be playing more of it but uh, Yes, until the next video and live stream, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy rally driving and happy tea drinking. Goodbye. <laughs>